You're far from your regiment, Captain. What do you want? We're looking for Major Herman. I was told you'd know where to find him. The Major? He must be on a mission somewhere. Don't play dumb with me, Lieutenant. I'd be sorry to see you arrested as an accomplice. Listen, Captain. We really don't know what you're talking about. As for your threats, you're not our superior. You're not part of our regiment. Yet we're here with your new commander's blessing. The Major is accused of treason. You'd better tell us where to find him. Lies. The Major is a righteous man. We'd give our lives for him. Really? Let's see you do it. Guards, help me! And death to the others! So, are you finally ready to tell us where we can find Herman? We'll never tell you anything. Stop! You might be ready to die for him, but I'm not. He's in a warehouse, on the port. The traitor is probably getting ready to leave the island. What do you want to do with these two, Kurt? Lieutenants! You're under arrest for now. Go to the commander. She'll decide what to do with you. <sighs> At your orders, Captain. Let's find the Major before he escapes. It's been so long. How did you find me? Does that really matter, Major? You're finally gonna pay for all your evil, your treachery, and your schemes. Come with us, Major Herman. If you think I'm gonna give up without a fight, you're wrong. Soldiers, seize them! <laughs> Protect me in this battle! Yeah. 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 And death to the others! No. What? You shouldn't be surprised. After all, I owe my talents to you. Let's lock him up. The Inquisitor will do the rest. Kurt, are you all right? Yes. Better than ever. 
You cannot even imagine how much I hated that piece of filth. What did he do to you? As you may have guessed, I suffered the same treatment as Rainer. The only difference is that I survived. And there's even more. Believe me, I'm glad that these memories went up in flames along with that bastard. Thank you, Green Blood. Thank you for helping me as I go through all this. I'll never forget it. <gasps> Sir Desade, seeing you is a genuine relief. Your emissary informed us that you were in need of our help. Indeed. She must have told you that we were being attacked. We are sustaining the relentless assaults of furious animals, which some people believe to be sent by the demons of the island. Some people? So you're not certain that's the case? We were mistaken when we thought them responsible for the Malikor. I became more cautious. But no matter where these attacks come from, our men are becoming exhausted. One of our outposts to the east has sent us a distress message. They won't hold much longer. I beg you, you must go to their aid. Maybe they can help you find out where these beasts come from. I will go there and meet them. I hope to make it in time. I am infinitely grateful, Your Excellency. You have proved your efficiency many times already. I am certain you will put an end to this. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. You shouldn't stay here. We're sustaining terrible attacks. The animals appear to be crazy. They already killed several of my soldiers. We are actually here to help you. Are you the backup? We were starting to lose hope. I must admit I was praying for more soldiers, but any help is welcome. We're under attack every night, and we've already lost a lot of men. At this rate, we won't survive another night. Don't worry. We will do everything in our power to make sure that you do. You still have some time to prepare before these beasts attack again. Or we could wait together until nightfall. All right, let's wait. Ready, weapons? There they are!
have succeeded. Bravo, soldiers. We have resisted. Thank you, Excellency. You Thanks for your help. You are an extraordinary fighter. If it weren't for you, the outpost would have undoubtedly fallen tonight. If these attacks are always this violent, even with our support, it won't hold much longer. We must uncover the origin of these attacks. I've thought about it, and I sent a few men two days ago in the hope that they would find out where the attacks came from. And first and foremost, why they are attacking. But I haven't heard from them since. I'm afraid I might have sent them to their death. Could you at least tell me which way they went? I might be able to track them. They followed a trail going north of a place the natives call the Woods of Lightning. Thank you, officer. I will do everything in my power to find them. Until then, try to hold on. You be careful. Goodbye. So do I. That being said, maybe we should go and meet her. This man will die if we don't do something about it. What? What happened? You... You saved me. Thank you. Uh, I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Your officer sent us. He told us that you were looking for the origin of these attacks. Uh, and we found it. We followed the beast's trail and... The... 
and it led us to a large glade east of here. You'll find raised stones there, the ones which are worshipped by the islanders. There was a, a, a creature there, a, a beast so large and so ferocious. I've, I've never seen anything like it. That's what must have been attracting the animals. We wanted to kill it, but it prevailed. All my comrades fell in battle against it. I fled. I had to inform the Lieutenant. And you were right. Don't worry, we'll take care of it now. We took some notes, and, and we drew a map as we progressed. It, it may be of use to you. Everything is in that chest over there. Here, take the key.
It was this creature who was leading the animals. It looks like a guardian, but its skin is strange, covered with ulcers, as if it was sick. That could explain its change in behavior, but not the intelligence with which these attacks were led. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? You are back. I hear there are no more attacks. Once again, your help was a blessing. Did our troops survive? There were some losses, but the outpost is still standing. And it's thanks to them that I was able to follow the creature's trail. The officer sent out a small party hoping that they would be able to solve the problem. Now, that's a resourceful man. Did his initiative bear fruit? His men died, alas. But following their tracks led me to the creature who was leading the animals. It resembled a Nardaig Manaman, a mountain guardian. But it seemed like it was sick. Its skin was covered in stains and ulcers, and its behavior was different from the other guardians I've met. Where could it have come from? And why did it send all these beasts after us? I don't know. But someone must be behind all this. These attacks are too coordinated and too complex to be the work of some creatures. You are a man of great ingenuity. I have no doubt that you will solve this mystery. At any rate, I am extremely grateful for the help you have given us. You're welcome. Anything else? I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Lord Desade, I've been hoping you would come. Your Excellency, I heard news of the attacks against Hickmend. We have had our differences, but none can deny your incredible efficiency. You must surely know that were we not desperate, I would not trouble you with this. I'm listening. Animals, creatures, have been attacking us relentlessly. They throw themselves upon our defenses day and night. They do not even try to avoid our weapons rushing as if to swamp us in infinite numbers. Our best soldiers fall exhausted from fatigue, the others die shredded by their claws. Please find the origin of these attacks and make them stop. If we cannot hold out, the entire population of Hikmet will be devoured. Shah Mateus has fallen prey to the same tragic fate. The beasts were answering to a type of guardian we have never seen before. A guardian that has since died. Have the attacks subsided here at all? A guardian that has since died. Have the attacks subsided in Hikmet? No, not at all. San Mateus is far from here. The origin of the attacks must be different. I sent a small group of trackers so that they might follow the trail of the creatures. Their last message came from a dangerous area in the hands of natives. The savages are certainly at the root of these evil attacks. Who else could have trained all of these creatures? Could you indicate the zone in question? Alas, no. I didn't get the information. You must meet their officer, who will know how to guide you there. She's leading our troops in the outpost at the entrance to the city. Very well. I shall depart immediately. Be so kind as to keep me informed. This affair is driving me to madness. I would like to broach a rather unpleasant subject. Your treachery. I beg your pardon? I am at a loss for words. 
Have you forgotten that after sending me to save your savants that you then again sought my assistance? According to you, I needed only to convince the Tierna Hakaductus to provide us with a remedy. But you used me like a pawn, seeking in truth to capture her. I... I cannot understand why you are reacting in this way. I was certain that the Witch Doctor would refuse to help us. They have us marked down as enemies, after all. And I had good reason to believe that you would not resort to physical persuasion. You are even ready to use brute force against your own allies. Whatever do you mean? After wounding the Tiana, your spy attempted to kill me, Excellency. And you dare to tell me that my anger is exaggerated. Can I remind you that to assassinate a legate is to declare war against his sovereign? I never... I promise you that I had no intention for any harm to befall you. That man went beyond his orders, I assure you. I implore you, please accept my sincerest and profound apologies in the name of the Bridge Alliance. I can only give you the benefit of the doubt for now, Your Excellency. In the meantime, you need not keep a candle lit for the return of your spy. He paid for his audacity with his life. I... He would have been made to answer for such infamy, I assure you. Once again, I apologize sincerely for this crime. It should never have happened. In any case, we need to get our hands on this woman. The remedy is perhaps... There never was a remedy. It was a wild goose chase. Perhaps even some sort of machination. No. That... That is terrible. This is a great setback. How could I have been so naive? What a shame. I am truly sorry that you risked your life in vain. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I've taken care of your problem with the caravans. The merchant should now be able to reach Hikmet. Captain Rainhild has sent a message to that effect. You have done a great service for me. Though there is something that bothers me. I was told that you met these savages and then let them go. They showed no mercy at all with your own merchants. The congregation is not in conflict with these natives, and has no wish to begin one. Ah, your famous neutrality. Well then, you have solved the problem, and I would be discourteous to deny it. My pleasure. I imagine the captain must have informed you of all that we learned. Indeed, and I am extremely worried. An attack of any significant magnitude would be a catastrophe for our city. We have the means to repel these savages, but it will not be without great losses. Perhaps there is another way. The natives have clearly expressed their wishes. The freedom of their brothers and sisters. I see where this is headed, but I fear that they were not honest with you. A few natives are being held in the prison of the coin guard, but a handful of warriors does not seem to justify an assault of such commitment. They were not speaking of just a few soldiers, but of kidnappings. The victims are only villagers. This is inexplicable. We have taken no villagers. Of course, we answer their attacks in kind. And at times, we have taken prisoners on the battlefield. But what use would we have for a few fishermen, hunters, and weavers? Might it be possible that these kidnappings have taken place without your consent? I doubt that. But of course, it is always possible that a few bandits might have stolen a shipment of arms. If that were the case, that would explain a great deal. Since you have been of such service to my people, and this grievous affair seems of great concern to you, would you be of a mind to lead the inquiry? Capture a few of these savages. Make it your mission to make them talk. We must understand what is going on before they attack. Very well. I shall get to the bottom of this affair, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord.
You managed to make it through. A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defenses. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that is why we're here. Governor Burren sent me. He wants us to find a group of trackers. And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody city. But you wanted to ask me something. Like I said, Governor Burren is hoping that I can find a group of trackers, with your help. I'd like to see you try. Indeed, I was ordered to send out a party of scouts, which I did, despite our losses. They were supposed to find the bastard who's been sending us these critters. One of those savage sorcerers, no doubt. Can you tell me which way they went? Sorry, Your Excellency, I won't tell you anything until I receive some help. You have to understand, I hope that these men are alive. They are also under my command. But those who are here with me now are my main preoccupation. And as we speak, they're dropping like flies. Not to mention the fact that if this outpost falls, there won't be much left to protect the city. So you can go and tell the governor that if he wants me to help you, he will have to help us first. I understand that your situation is desperate, that you want to take care of what appears most urgent. But it's not simply about me saving a few men. It's about stopping these attacks once and for all. By getting to their root cause, I intend to put an end to it. And then any help you hope to receive won't be needed any longer. You're right. I'm sorry, these attacks have made me lose my nerve. I don't know what I'm saying. They went towards the west, where the rebels are most numerous. Are you talking about the Danaea Exregal? If you like. The governor is certain that these savages are behind the attacks. So I sent my men to find their camp. This isn't the first time that we've tried to find them. But now our survival depends on it. I see. Well, thank you, Captain. I'll try to find your man and put an end to all this. Good luck. And if my men are alive, send them back here, will you? You can count on me. Could you tell me again what it is that you expect from me? We were if you from it, very well. Fleet. We're departing right away. I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Soldiers, are you the ones who are supposed to help me search for the caravan? Yes, Your Excellency. We're ready to leave as soon as you wish. I'm ready. Let's go. We'll follow you. belong to our caravan. Let's take a closer look. I hope that those who are accompanying the caravan are still alive. You have witnessed the violence of the attacks we are sustaining. They must all be dead. I'm more worried about the problem. dead they were torn to shreds but the cargo is still here and it looks like it's in good condition as for the carriage it's damaged and without it we'll have a hard time transporting this to the outpost do any of you know how to fix it 
There's a lot of work, but I should be able to do it. It'll take some time, though. The beasts may come back at any moment. Make it quick. I'm starting right away. And don't worry. We'll protect you as long as necessary. I did what I could, but it should hold. And now we'll have to drag it all the way to the outpost. Let's depart before more beasts arrive. Here you are. I don't know how to thank you. Our cargo has finally arrived. With this ammunition, we'll be able to hold back the assaults, and the medicines have already given a boost to three of my men. It wasn't an easy task, so I'm pleased that all this has been useful to you. Here, take this. This is all I can offer to thank you, but I give it gladly. Thank you, Captain. Governor Byrne asked me to investigate the abductions the rebels told us about. If we could find the origin and free their comrades, I'm sure they would stop their attack. I need to locate and speak with the other rebels. Do you know where they could be? No. They don't attack often. I fear they're gathering their forces. Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you the scouts sent by the governor of Hikmet? Can't you tell? 
He was worried that he wasn't getting any news from you and asked me to find you. He wants me to help him put an end to the attacks. Have you discovered anything? Yes. A camp of rebel savages. We suspected there was one around here, and we finally found it. They must be the ones sending us the beasts. They all come from this region, and these barbarians have sworn to eliminate us. So we... You may be right, but I'd rather be certain. I know the leader of this camp. I'll go talk to her. You... you knew of this camp? These savages are responsible for dozens of deaths, maybe hundreds. Why didn't you inform the governor? Because I'm a diplomat, not a scout. You should go back to the outpost now. I'll take care of all this. I wanted to speak to you about the assaults that Hikmed and its outposts have been sustaining. Assaults? We have nothing to do with it this time. My men are not ready to attack the big city. They're not being attacked by men, but by beasts. Dozens of them. So, they are also attacking the Renaigse? That's a relief. What do you mean? The animals are attacking us as well. They throw themselves at any man crossing their path, as if they were enraged. They even throw themselves at the camp's defenses. I had never seen anything like it before. A similar thing was happening west of the island. The animals were being led by some sort of guardian. It resembled a Nardaig Menaemon, but its skin was black and covered in ulcers. I have never seen a guardian that fits the description you've given. I don't think they exist. Could a Denegad have done this? You're a typical Renaigse. You don't understand anything. The Nardaig are our ancestors. None of our people would make a Nardaig suffer, even if their heart was black and full of resentment. And yet someone or something is making the beasts aggressive here as well. And we must find it. We? Do you want us to work together? Why shouldn't we? Don't you want this to stop too? That's true. Mal! Our guardian! He had changed! He is attacking our own! What? Come! Follow me! <laughs> Go 
happened to our Nardai? No idea. I'm sorry. It left me no choice. You fought bravely, and you did what you had to do. Our Guardian had changed. It no longer recognized its children, and it was the one leading these beasts against us. Something really bad must have happened to it. It resembled the other Guardian I told you about. As if they had the same disease. Guardians don't get sick. They are far more than beasts. And yet you and I saw the same thing. At last. The attack should stop now. What are you doing here? Who are these Renites, eh? Spies? They only came here to discover the source of the attacks. And they thought we were responsible. Why are you still here? You should have gone back to the outpost. I... I'm sorry. We were uncertain that we could trust you. You said you knew these... people. And then we heard cries. And saw the giant creature attacking their camp. And we realized that it was this creature who was leading the beasts. And you discovered that we weren't to blame. Yes. I'm... I'm really sorry. We should go back to the outpost now. But then, if we let them go, they'll tell their leader the location of our camp. You. Are you prepared to swear that you will never speak of this place? You... You saved our comrades and maybe our city by killing this beast, so... Yes. We swear. I hope that they will be true to their word. Fine. They can go. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, Duren. Now, let's go tell the Governor of Hikmet about this guardian. Qua awalem seg, Renaigse. And if you find the one who's behind all this, kill him. Your Excellency, have you been informed? I've been told, yes, that the attacks have ceased. Hikmet has been saved, thanks to you. Was it the natives, as I suspected? No, they were not the cause, and were also victims of the attacks, and their losses were great. The animals answered to the call of a guardian, whose behavior was totally unlike the others. Exactly like the one who led the attacks against San Mateus. These creatures normally protect the natives, answering their call. Why did this one attack them? Are you certain one tribe is not attempting to dominate the others? I don't think so. The Guardian looks sick. No native would treat such a creature like that. There is no doubt someone is behind these attacks. But currently, I have no idea who it might be. I suspect you will lead the investigation and unravel the mystery, as is your custom. While waiting, take this. It's nothing much, but consider it a gift to thank you for your help. Without you, the population of Hikmet would have suffered terribly. Thank you. I'm happy to have helped you avoid a massacre, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Constantine, my dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So what was causing them? The city and its outposts were continuously being attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I have never seen anything like it. And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation. Do you remember? 
Of course. Don't tell me that a guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the islanders. And yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardai Glenderman, a beach guardian. But it seemed just as sick. And it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps. But I'm certain there's more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, dear cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right, but I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, dear cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far, rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later. But why would he leave like that? God, do you know where my cousin is going? Sorry, Your Excellency. His Highness didn't tell me anything. You are one of his bodyguards, aren't you? I am, Your Excellency. But recently, it has been difficult to force His Highness to accept our presence. Recently? You mean this isn't the first time he's left without an escort? I... I'm sorry, Your Excellency. You better tell me everything. But I... Fine. I don't mean to be disrespectful towards him. But His Highness's behavior has been very... Peculiar recently. He sleeps very little and goes out alone almost every night. And it didn't occur to anyone that I should be informed. Well, His Highness had specifically ordered us not to tell you about it. And where does he go? I thought the days when he used to go from tavern to tavern were over. He... he doesn't go to taverns, Your Excellency. From what I know, he... he goes outside the city. Where could he go outside the city? I've no idea. We saw him going north. That's all I know. Listen, I understand this matter is putting you in a difficult situation. You were supposed to protect my cousin wherever he went, but he refused and ordered you to keep your mouth shut. But Constantine is not just my governor. He's my cousin. I'm worried about him. He's already been abducted once when leaving the city. So, if you know anything else... I don't really know where he's going, Your Excellency. But I think I know where you could find out. When he doesn't leave the palace, he stays in his office for hours. He writes so much down in there that he could fill entire books. Here, I have the key. Take it. I hope you find His Highness and manage to make him see reason. I don't like this at all. What could he be doing outside every night? Normally, I would have said getting drunk at the tavern. But clearly, that isn't the case. I'm starting to believe that the revelations of Enon Mil Frichtemann had some truth to them. Let's rummage through his papers. We may find a clue. to discover that your cousin has descended into madness. But we can't let him kill these people simply because he's afraid they might have seen him.
May the trees on your road always bear fruit. Thanks. You saved us. These beasts would have torn us to shreds. These animals were strange, as if they were enraged. Thanks again, Renaixe. I'm glad I could help you. And perhaps you can do me a favor in return. I'm looking for a young man, a Renaixe. But he looks a bit like an Onol Manawi. Someone like you? In some ways. But his marks are different, darker. He's talking about the crazy Don Agad. Indeed, that might be him. Do you know where to find him? No, we see him passing by around nightfall, but we don't know where he's going. He walks along the path, often followed by some beasts. He has a sinister look in his eyes. He scares me, so we stay hidden. And you do well to hide. I think he's the one who sent these animals to attack you. Do you have any idea how I could figure out where he's going? He could hide in the old house. He would see him passing by and could follow, couldn't he? You're right. If you take this path to the right, you'll reach an abandoned house. You can hide there. And from up there, you will be able to see the path perfectly. Thank you. You've been a great help. And stay hidden. You may still be in danger. Be prudent, Onol Manawi. I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. Do you want to? I'll leave. We can't be seen from the path. Let's wait here to see where Constantine goes. I see him. Then he's not alone. <laughs> 